Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be playing around with a really interesting minor balloon control deck. Very strong strategy, 3.5 average elixir. You have the furnace in here to provide that constant pressure, and also to act a bit as spell bait for your barbarians, which are your primary defensive card. You also have uh, some good air defense in here as well, with the E-Wizard and the Mega Minion and the Snowball, with the uh, Furnace acting as well as additional air support. You have the Ice Gloom in there for distraction, Miner and the Balloon are your main wood conditions, obviously, and overall, it is a really well-rounded deck. Been having a ton of fun using it today. There we go, guys. Let's go ahead, jump into our first battle of the evening. So, let's see how we do. With this deck today, by the way, it's been a while since I asked you guys, but uh, how are you guys doing today? How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm doing very well today, in case you're wondering about me. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. And if not, I hope your day improves, man. Or girl. Whatever it is, I hope it improves. He was he here. So I'm guessing it is some sort of a golem deck, just based off of the baby D and the, uh, and the what do you call it? Go Miner here with a Furnace up front. He's going to go Mega Minion for the E-Wizard. First place, get in there, please. Boom, boom. Yes, E-Wizard survives. That's going to be some good damage right there, guys. Look at this. Look at that Miner E-Wizard damage. Obviously, destroying the tower. And we have Fire Spits going in as well. Obviously, it is a Golem beatdown deck. So, this should be a pretty interesting defense right, uh, right here, I guess. Wait for it, baby. Barbs. Once the Nightwatch goes down, we're going to go like this. Boom. And then go e Wizard here. Kaboom. Nice. We just absolutely denied that Golem. Poor Golem. Just got rejected. Poor Golem, guys. It'll be missed. Lumberjack here. There's the Lumberjack. So when the Eldrack gets closer to the river, I'm going to pull it over with the Ice Golem. I think, I think this right here should be good. And I successfully pulled that off. Nice. I was a bit worried there for a minute. I wanted to go one tile lower than that. Uh, that way both towers activate a bit more. But uh, no damage regardless. So we are definitely good to go in that regard. So. The furnace should take care of the rest of that uh, tower in the right lane. We're going to get ready for the D right here on the left, guys. Uh, and we'll kind of see how it goes. I'm assuming he has lightning spell in there. But obviously, I could be wrong as well. There's a landing spell. He misses our uh, Mega, which is definitely okay for us. Look at this. Once again, just absolutely denied, man. Look at this. Poor dude. He's just having a bad day. He hasn't had a successful push the entire video. And by entire video, I mean the all three minutes of it so far. As if that is some major accomplishment. But uh, yeah, look at this. Poor dude. Just getting wrecked. Just getting absolutely shredded today. Bomb goes boom. Fire spirits jump. Nice, nice, nice. This here, this here. Wait for it. Tiny spell. One more. Oh, he misses his. He misses his furnace again. Poor dude. Good game. Well played. Oh, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? I wanted the two crown, buddy. <laughs> oh well, we absolutely destroyed. I would say we absolutely dominated that battle, guys. We had complete control the entire game as you wanted to do. I'm really, really happy with this deck so far, guys. Furnace, like it's just so, it feels so well-rounded. You have the Furnace for constant pressure, e was your Mega Snowball for air defense, Ice Golem for distraction, Barbarians as your damage dealer, a bit of Fireball Bait in here as well with the E-Wizard and the Furnace. Two win conditions. Um, obviously, if they, I feel like if they have a splash heavy deck, uh, decks like with Executioner, stuff like that will be hard because it destroys the Barbarians and your Fire Spirits and your uh, Balloon. So, I mean, it definitely has some hard matchups as any deck does. Um, but I won't tell you those matchups, what the bad matchups are until I lose to one. And then, oh no, this is a bad matchup, guys. This is a very bad. Let me just go check Royale API for a quick minute here. Okay. Real API says, actually it does, I, I, it does, 2.6 Expo is a bad matchup for this particular deck. 
I'll show a screenshot on screen right now to prove that I am not lying. It is a negative 13 percentage loss rate. Uh, net loss. What that means is if you take the win rate minus the loss rate, um, overall this deck is losing a lot more than it's winning in this particular matchup. That's what it means, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. The balloon will take care of the Tesla and the archers there, so I'm kind of okay with that. The problem here, herein lies, is he's got an ice golem right lane. Expo will be dropped. Yep. There it is. And then we just lose right here, boys. Fireball coming down. Kaboom goes the fireball. Kaboom goes the fireball. Kaboom goes the fireball. No, never mind. Okay, we good. So yeah. Royale API is showing it. I'll leave a link below as well to RoyalAPI.com, guys, in case you're interested. Uh, it just It's a really good website for showing the actual, like, it breaks it down by matchup as well uh, for a particular deck. So it'll show, like, the top 10 most popular uh, decks in the game. And then it'll kind of show you the, the matchups for those decks. Um, and it'll tell you whether the deck wins or loses overall. <laughs> Best fireball in the history of furballs. In Clash Royale career history day. This here. Kaboom. Balloon, I want your death damage, baby. Actually, I, I lied, Balloon. I lied entirely. I, I didn't want death damage. I wanted uh, the tower dead. Okay? So next time, please kill the tower, you nub. You disappointed me. Stupid thing. Stupid thing. Here we go. I just go in front of the uh, expo right there. Make it mean it's so slow. There we go. Nice. Furnace here applying the pressure. Defensive expo. Nasty sauce, man. Absolute nasty sauce. That's my uh, impression of the Monsters Inc. Secretary lady, right? Secretary lady? I don't know what her name is. But uh, that, that was my impression, regardless. Really wish I had a heavy spell right now. Heavy spell would be so juicy, dude. But we do get the balloonage in there, getting some work done. Nice. Furnace here. Split barbs here. Wait for it, baby. Just this. Double this, Jazz. There we go. Want to do work, please? All right, so I'm actually gonna ignore the rest of the uh, of the expo there, and hope it doesn't come to back to bite us in the bahooty. Wait for it, baby. This here, this here, this here. Come on. Go, ice golem, go. He's doing a great job so far. I'm just destroying us right now, guys. Do work, miner, please. Yes. There we go. This battle is kind of not going the way I had envisioned it when I started my day off today. I'll be very honest with you guys in that regard. It is not the way I envisioned my day today. That much is for certain. There we go. Let's play this. Let's, go, let's just go crazy. I, I, I don't even care anymore. I'm trying to go crazy, guys. I just legit do not even care anymore. Go, please. Gonna fireball that. Yep. Oh, we're gonna get to the tower. Yes, there we go. Misa. Good game. Well played. So we just beat the absolute most hardest counter in Clash Royale history. Actually, I'm just joking, guys. It wasn't the hardest counter. Um, negative 12% net win ra ratio uh, is like a soft hard counter, I guess. Soft counter. Meaning, like, overall, like, it tends to lose more than it wins. But if you're good, you can beat the matchup. Um, if you're, like, losing, like... I'll show another another uh, screenshot on the screen right now. If it were Ice Bow, I would say Ice Bow for sure is a hard counter because Ice Bow has a negative almost 60% net win ratio uh, with this deck versus Ice Bow. So uh, that that's a hard counter for sure. Net 13% is like kind of like a soft counter. Like you can win, you can lose either way, but it does tend to lose a bit more than it wins uh, in that matchup. But uh, 
Let's go ahead, jump into uh, one more battle here, and we'll see how we do. And I'll stop talking about hard counters. I, 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 it bothers some people when I when I mention that, because they're they're thinking that I'm making excuses. And while I admit I do joke 99% of the time about that, about whenever I lose, it's like it's hard counter. Um, it's just it's something that I learned from uh, just just all of the uh, the streamers and pros after I've watched them. It's just it tends to be this thing where it's like. You lose, it's either hard counters or bad card rotation. It's just one of those things you learn very quickly when you get into uh, content creation. Oh no, hard counter. Guys, hard counter. We're dead. We are dead, son. We are dead, son. What's your lightning spell, buddy? No lightning spell? All right, we're not dead. We survive, we survive, baby. I'm a survivor. There we go. Kind of want to go miner right here. That's a balloon chain. Oh, go miner, go, go miner, go. Yes. Baby dragon, do work. Miner, do work, please. Don't die, you wizard. Oh, you died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're kind of just gonna chill here and allow the baby D to just uh, do its thing. Let's try something dumb. This is gonna be dumb, 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 but I'm trying it. Barbarian's balloonage. Do it work? Does it work? The wall here? Oh, it works, baby. Take that, you nub. That's what you get for trying to be all sneaky with your, uh... No! Witch, stay in the balloon bomb! No! No! No. 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 Did you guys hear what I said? I said, No. <laughs> that tower is dead, baby. There's no way we can stop it now. Wait for it. Barbarians, E-Wizard. Kaboom. Nice. Snowball here. Actually, that didn't... I gotta say, guys, I was expecting that to work. The Barb's E-Wizard play? I was expecting that to work for some reason. There we go. Barb's here. Nice. That Rage Dark Prince, man, he's getting some work done, though, eh? Miner here. Here. Just here. What about this? Ooh. That was close, dude. That was close. Wait for it. He was he here? Kaboom. Barb's here. Nice. The running the Dark Prince with the Barbarians has been proven to work in the past. So hopefully it works today. This here. This here. We're gonna start getting set up here for a counter push. How about this jazz? Wait for it. He was he here? You can't even let one shot because he does have lightning spell in hand, so. Nice, there we go. We're gonna go minor balloon ice golem right here, baby. Let's go for it. Wait for it. Minor balloon. Nice, there we go, dude. There we go. Balloon this here. He's gonna lightning spell it. He's gonna lightning spell it. Oh, he doesn't have E-Wizard in hand. He's still gonna lightning spell it though. Wait for it. He was he here? Oh, he loses! Yes! Take that again! Wow, that was stressful, man. That was so stressful. We obviously just destroyed that. What is Royale API safe? No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't even have this matchup in this uh in the uh in the list here. That was actually really fun. That was a good battle. Lots of back and forth. Lots of... Like, he was just hyper-aggressive. On that 3 crown. He wanted that 3 crown like crazy. But we defended it. I don't even know how we stopped all that jazz. But we stopped it. So. Gents. 
Good luck to you, my dear friend. What you got, though? I just realized right now while recording that I'm very hungry. Very, very hungry. So hopefully, I can get some food after this video. I'm starving, Marvin. Mega Minion here. Why does the baby D so nasty, OP? Here. Yes. Go, 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 E Wizard. Go, Miner. Go, Mega. Go, Ice Golem. Actually, we're gonna get some. That's, that's Tower. That's easy Tower right there. That's easy dubs. Easy dubs right there. There we go. It is another Golem deck, I'm guessing. But that was. That Lumberjack got a lot more work than I had hoped. But that was a pretty good push right there. If only we had, like, one more Elixir for a, uh... Look at this. The, the Baby Dragon can legit solo a Mega. Which I think is, uh... Strange, I think. A Splash Damage Unit should not destroy a single target DPSer. Just, I guess, my opinion. Mega here. Does he lightning spell it or does he go mega? Is here? Come on, NATO. Don't be stupid like that. Come on now. Come on now. Stupid NATO guys being all stupid. One of these. Nice. I'm okay with that, Jazz. But you know what I'm not okay with right now is this defense that we're, that we're gonna actually you know well let's just let's try let's try one of these see how it goes does it work I don't know boys I don't think it do work I'm waiting patiently to find out if it was working or not. We go. Come on. Any spell here? Barb's here. Here. Nice. Come on. Nice. Wow, we actually defended that. I'm okay with that. Normally those those golem decks are super hard to stop in double elixir. Uh, but, like, as you see, guys, the, the Barbarians are clutch in this deck. Absolutely clutch. We just, uh, we just denied him basically any damage. This deck, honestly, I'm really, really impressed with this, with just how well it performs. Like, even though, like, if you look at it, you don't think you have too much Fireball Bait in there for the Barbarians. A couple of things right now. Uh, Furnace, E-Wizard, Mega, and the Balloon are kind of, like, low-key Fireball Bait. Um, also, like, everyone right now is running Lightning Spell. So, Barbarians get work done for sure. So, definitely happy so far with the deck, guys. Really, really happy so far. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and hop into replay number one over here. I have two replays for, with you guys today. With you guys. For you guys today to finish the video off. I was looking through my battle log. And I realized that I faced, like, five Golem decks in my past seven battles. I have no idea what that means. But it's strange, okay? Anyways. Facing off against a uh, kind of like dirty bait deck, minor bait deck. Um, I think I've done a video on a deck similar to this like many, many months, probably a year ago. It's a, you know, minion horde, double building, super defensive deck. Um, I think traditionally it has like rocket, mirror, and princess though. So his is a bit different than normal. Um, but yeah, so we gotta be careful because he does have some stuff in there. When you go furnace right here on the right lane, he tries to do. Uh, he actually does a pretty good job in this battle of minoring my furnace to prevent it from uh, stacking up right here. Miner going down. We do not predict it with the Ice Golem. Um, but the Ice Golem does destroy the Skarmy, which I guess is a win overall. And now we're going to go my turn. Miner here for his furnace. E-Wizard up front, destroying the furnace. First pitch up again, the Barb Barrel going down. E-Wizard gets one shot on the Barbarian Barrel. And uh, in the end, kind of just a stalemate so far, kind of back and forth. Um, so it could be anybody's game at this point in the battle. But he does have Infernal Tower, he's got Furnace, he's got Fireball, he's got Minion Horse. He's got four, like, decent counters for the Balloon. Furnace, not so much, but uh, it is a building, does distract. 
So uh, we gotta be careful with the, with the way we set up a push, because a deck like his is very easy to kind of overcommit. Like if I go, let's say if I go, you know, minor balloon into a minion horde and I don't have my counter card ready, we basically waste ten elixir. He he counters it, and now we have a minion horde coming back at us. So we're gonna go right here, minor up front. He fireballs the balloon closer to his tower and then goes minion horde. I drop a thanks for the uh, fireball right there because he pushed our balloon closer. Now, I previously just mentioned that if you go balloon into a minion horde and it fails, it can really hurt you. Right there, we were saved by two main reasons. Number one, he misses fireball and it pushes the balloon closer. Number two, that allows the uh, minion horde to split up and half of it dies to the uh, balloon bomb. So, that's kind of why we did some work right there. Minor work going right here, get some chip damage done. For the most part, I will try and rely on my Miner for that chip damage in this battle here. With the Furnace kind of applying constant pressure. He has to use right there. He used 5 Elixir to counter my Miner. I now know his Minion Horde is out of rotation. So now I'm going Balloon with the Fire Spritz supporting it as well. Miner going in here, guys. Fireball going down. E-Wizard locking onto the tower. Fire Spritz jumping in, doing absolute work. E-Wizard doing insane damage. Tower will almost go down here. Down to 65 health. And all we need right now is one more snowball, and we can bust out the dub. So it was very crucial there to recognize the opportunity when he went minor, or sorry, when he went minion horde for my minor. I knew his primary defensive air defense card was out of rotation, so I immediately punished with a minor balloon, or sorry, balloon. And uh, even though he had the infernal tower, he was a destroyed that. And we came out with a really solid dub. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. I was going to throw in one more replay, but it was just, I guess, another Golem deck, so I figured we already fought Golem four times in live battles. We don't need one more. But, like, what are the odds? Look at this. Golem beat down, Expo. Golem beat down, Golem beat down. What are the odds of that? Okay? This one, And this one right here was the replay I was going to share with you guys. What are the odds that it's Golem beat down, Golem beat down, Expo, Golem beat down, Golem beat down? That is four... Out of five battles being Golem beatdown. Is Golem that popular? Or is the matchmaking just weird? Right? Like, there's no way out of the millions of card combinations in Clash Royale, there's no way that I battle Golem four out of five times. Right? I don't know, man. That's just, it's a little bit strange to me. Anyways, guys, we destroyed all of them, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but that is the end of the video. Here is a deck, guys. Go ahead, give it a shot. Let me know what you think of the deck overall. There is a deck link in the description if you want an easy way to copy it. But that is the end. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.